Assalamualaikum and hi kids, uh, Cikgu Azrini here. So today we are going to learn new topic, Unit 7, Electricity. This is our learning standard, what you should know about electricity. So the first one, identify components in an electric circuit, dry cell, bulb and switch, and then Explain functions of the components in a complete electric circuit. Science uh, textbook, page 73, unit 7, electricity. So look at uh, this uh, situation. Wow, those colorful flashing lights are so beautiful. Father, how does the carousel move? Electricity enables the bulbs to light up and the carousel to move. What will the situation at this fun fair be if there is no electricity? So just imagine if uh, there is no electricity, there is, uh, it will be so difficult for us to carry out our daily activities. A circuit is a part of electricity and actually we use a circuits every day even though we might not be aware of it. Okay, just look at your surroundings. Okay, we switch on the fan, switch off uh, the switch on the lights, okay, air conditioner. So actually every day we use electricity. The first thing that you need to know in this uh, topic is the electrical components identifying the electrical components we can build an electric circuit by using this electrical components so the first one uh, is the dry cell or we use uh, to call it as battery we use this in our uh, television uh, remote controller or uh, even in the toy car okay it has a positive and a negative uh, charge. So when you want to put it in the dry cell uh, holder, you need to make sure you put in the correct uh, position according uh, to their charge so that it can work well. And then bulb and also a uh, switch. So this is uh, the switch. Maybe if you look at your house, the switch is in a different way, different uh, shape or color or different style. Okay, but this is uh, the switch that we always uh, use in a science uh, room or a science experiment. We call this we call this a uh, knife uh, switch. Okay, Swiss pistol. This is a dry cell holder. The dry cell or the battery should be installed in a dry cell holder and connected to the correct terminals so that it can work well. The bulb should be fastened onto the bulb holder correctly. And then the wire should be connected to every component correctly. Wire is used to connect each electrical component into a complete circuit. This is connecting wires that connect all the components, connect uh, the dry cell, the bulb, and also the switch, so that it can be a complete circuit. When the switch is closed, the bulb will light up. Apabila kita tutup switch, Mental akan menyala. Kalau kita buka switch, mental ni tidak akan menyala sebab uh, elektrik tak boleh mengalir. Jadi kalau kita tutup, dia akan jadi uh, complete circuit. Jadi elektrik boleh mengalir. Kalau kita buka, dia ada macam laluan lah dekat tengah-tengah. Jadi elektrik tak boleh mengalir. You look here, open circuit and close circuit. When the switch is open, the bulb will not light up. When the switch is closed, the bulb will light 
up. I'm going to show you the real electrical components. So this is a dry cell or we used to call it S battery. If you look here, okay, there are positive uh, charge and also negative charge. Okay, tanda tambah dengan tolak ni. Okay. So this uh, dry cell, you need to fasten it onto the dry cell holder. If you look here also, kat sini pun ada tanda tambah dengan uh, tolak. Okay, jadi nanti you need to put it according to their correct uh, charge lah. Tanda tambah kena letak dekat, tanda tambah dekat uh, dry cell holder. Okay. And then, this is a bulb. Okay, this bulb, you need to fasten it onto the bulb holder. This is bulb holder. This is a switch. Okay, uh, on and off. This is connecting wires. I'm going to show you how we connect all the electrical components to make a complete circuit. First of all, put the dry cell onto the dry cell holder according to their charge. So then it can work well. And then the bulb, okay, put into the, fasten into the bulb holder. So here we have uh, the switch and all the wires. Okay, you need to connect all the wires to all the component. Okay, kena sambung wire ni kepada semua komponen dan pastikan ianya ketat. Okay, don't worry when the school reopen, we are going to do this at school. Okay, look here. This is a complete circuit when, when you connect all the components together. So, this is a closed circuit. When you switch on, the bulb will not light up. Okay, bila awak buka switch, mentol tidak menyala sebab elektrik tak boleh lalu di sini. Ah, dia dah jadi... Terputus lah. Ruang kosong ni terputus. Ha, yang lain kan semua bersambung. Okay. But when you switch off, the bulb will light up. So, this is closed circuit. Complete circuit. Okay. On and off. Next. Functions of the electrical components. Electrical components have their own functions. Okay, let's see what their functions are. I am a dry cell. My function is to supply electrical energy. 
So this is a dry cell and its function is to supply electrical energy. And then the second one, bulk. I am a bulb. My function is to produce a light. And bulbs are easily broken because they are made of glass. Okay, senang pecah. So you need to be careful. Then, I am a switch. My function is to complete and break an electrical and electric circuit. When working with a circuit, so we must be careful to follow safety guidelines for using electricity. Okay, kena berhati-hati. These rules include making sure that you are supervised by an adult, not touching electrical wires, not using electricity around water, and not interfering with outlets. Okay, so you need to be careful when. Use the electricity. So this is your homework science activity book, page 45, 46 and 47. Science activity book, page 45. Okay, unit 7, electricity, search for the hidden components. Write the date as usual. And then you need to observe the picture given, color the hidden electrical components. Okay, cari objek um, yang tersembunyi, okay, komponen elektrik yang tersembunyi. You need to color them. And then uh, 46, uh, knowing me, label the electrical components in the kit below. Okay, you need to write their names, which one is a bulb, dry cell and also switch. Number two, take the correct answers. Okay, this is box. Should be fastened onto. Uh, you choose the correct answer. B, this is a dry cell. Should be installed in. Okay, choose the correct answer. Take the correct answer. And then, page 47. What is my function? Match the pictures to their function. So, here, uh, bulb, switch, dry cell and also connecting wire. And this is uh, their functions, uh, supply electrical energy, produce a light, connect components in the electric circuit, complete and break the electric circuit. So you need to match the pictures to their functions. And uh, this one I want you to do the, in your um, exercise book, okay, electrical components and their functions. You need uh, to draw the electrical components, put their name here, and also write their functions. I already gave you one example here. Dry cell, supply electrical energy. So that's all for today. We will meet again in our next lesson. And thank you.